Recently, Congress has mandated that all branches of the military review policies that restrict female members' service. The Marine Corps, that means integrating women into the infantry. This summer, several volunteers are the first women to train for the infantry and will join their brothers in arms this fall. But not everybody believes this latest step towards equal rights is a good idea, including a female Marine officer who has been on the front lines. Joining me now is Captain Katie Petronio. Good morning to you, Captain. Good morning. So before we talk about what may happen in the future, help me understand what women are allowed to do right now. Well, there's numerous support roles that women women have right now. There are certain restrictions also, and that's what Congress is kind of mandating that we look into. Fields like infantry or artillery or tanks are areas that females have not been allowed to participate in. So there was this push in the last couple of years to let women do more, to technically be on the so-called front lines. Do you agree with it? Well, there's really no front line anymore. Uh, this is a conventional enemy. Females have definitely played a, a strong role in combat operations in, in a supporting capacity. Um, my specific concern is opening up infantry for females. Why? It's definitely not a cost. The cost definitely outweighs the benefits. Uh, it's not going to help the individual and it's not going to help the institution. Uh, we're a warfighting institution and combat readiness needs to be at the front and foremost uh, when we make decisions like this. And I don't think that this, is, this change is going to benefit anybody. But why not? Why not? Um, for, there's an understanding or a misconception outside of the Marine Corps that uh, you know, preventing women from taking on these roles possibly restricts our opportunities for promotion. In the Marine Corps, men and women are promoted at the same rate. Mm -hmm. um, so the other question then I present is longevity. You know, we're right. talking about opening up opportunities for females, but my concern that I point out in the article is that there's these gender-specific medical concerns that are going to come uh, with opening these fields that I'm not so sure we've really thought about. Mm -hmm. And on the back side of that, there's going to be a cost associated with these medical conditions and are we ready to pay the price for that? I guess that was my question about, about why you think that it's a bad idea because you yourself, I mean by all regards you're a very uh, high achieving woman not only in life but in the military and what you point out in this article is that you went through some of the rigorous training that the, the men did and what happened to you? Uh, I've faced a lot of uh, weight loss, muscle atrophy, um, I also developed polycystic ovarian syndrome, which for me resulted in infertility. Um, it's, it's a type of uh, combat environment these days that's very strenu strenuous, and I was only doing a portion of what our infantry brothers do. I'm physically fit, uh, definitely one of the top in the females uh, for physical fitness. However, I, I degraded, and of course I understand that every female is going to break down at a different rate. but. Our male counterparts are breaking down also, and mm -hmm. I just think it's an unnecessary risk that we could be taking on. So let me understand this. If, in fact, women are going to be on these so-called front lines, I know you say they don't really exist anymore, but just for terminology, on the front lines, will it be their own personal choice to be allowed to try it out, or will they just be commanded to do that even if they don't want to? This will be a blanket assignment. So anyone, any female who joins the Marine Corps, P uh, private, as an enlisted side or as a second lieutenant, as an officer, can be told to serve as an infantryman. And she will have to serve in that capacity. All right, Captain Katie Petronio, a U.S. Marine Corps member of the U.S. Marine Corps, who has written an article. And I imagine you've taken some heat for it, for uh, standing up for what you believe in. But we appreciate you being guest today.